Let's go. <laughs> Things between Jamal and I have been going pretty well since we decided to commit to being exclusive. And we've been traveling back and forth between San Diego and Charlotte. Do you see my egg cracking? That was amazing. I'm definitely still concerned about what the future holds. He's not a great communicator, and that's the only way this is going to work. This weekend flew by. I know. But it's good, though. Well, I feel like we always get along we're together. It's just yeah. like the second you leave, you suck at communication. Mm. Jamal, you don't. You could be a little. Text back fast enough. You don't text back at all. I do text back. Like the next day. I don't think we have to talk like 24 seven. Cause then it's like, what are we gonna keep talking about? Like, I'm not gonna like, work, what are you doing you all day to death? I know, know but like, it'd be nice to like know what's happening in your life. I'm more of a face to face kind of person. Uh, that's always been my vibe. Like when we're here, we're here. But Veronica takes it personally when I'm not available to her. And I can see maybe an insecurity um, of her overthinking, like, oh, he just doesn't care to talk to me. Uh, but that's never been the case. Look, I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't eat eggs, but watching you make them is pretty sexy. I also you like that. Mm-hmm. Put my butt out. I want to settle down, like, forever, ever with someone. And I just want things to keep going well for Jamal and my relationship. I think it's worth the risk, but if he hurts me, it, you know, could crush me.